Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Jaime and I'm the proud owner of an e-commerce agency helping e-commerce brands become market leaders. It's been almost two years since I started my agency and what I want to do in this video is I want to share with you the three things I wish I knew when I started social media marketing agency. Honestly, I wish I'd watched a video just like this when I first started out and I think it's going to be of tremendous value for those of you who are thinking of starting your social media marketing agency. Maybe you've already started your agency. These three lessons are going to give you a lot of perspective and a lot of it is going to be actionable strategies you can go ahead and need immediately implement into your agency to get incredible results. So really looking forward to this video and let's get right into it. The first thing that I wish I'd known is that the first client is always going to be the hardest client. When you're trying to sign your first client, a lot of people get discouraged because they think that signing clients for your social media marketing agency is supposed to be that hard. And the reality is that that first client is always going to be the hardest client. And that's probably the hardest thing you will ever have to do as an agency, especially in the first two to three years if you're not looking to expand your team and, and build this huge empire, right? So knowing that what you're currently going through is probably the hardest stage of building an agency, don't get discouraged. Surrender to the fact that it's probably gonna be a bit hard to, to land the first line, especially if you're not tapping into the network method that I've covered in this channel before. You can check out this video uh, if you wanna learn more about that after watching this video. But the main key that I want you guys to take away from this point is the fact that if you're going through that stage right now where you haven't landed your first client, realize that landing that first client is probably gonna be the hardest thing you will have to do as an agency owner. And knowing that, just stick through it because once you get through that uh, tough period, honestly, building an agency becomes very blissful, especially if you have the right systems in place where you can leverage the first client to sign your second client, third client, fourth client, and you're also signing the right clients that will fulfill you and that will also give you that income that can allow you to have financial location and time freedom. So if you're going through that period, what I would say is hang in there and understand that that first client is always gonna be the hardest client. The second point is I wish I'd thought for myself sooner. Let me explain what I mean by this. First thing that I wanna say is that I'm incredibly grateful for the mentors and the people that have influenced me in a very positive way uh, in my life. And one of the things that I think I did well is I was willing to invest in myself and learn from other people's mistakes, right? I didn't wanna make the same mistakes that people had already made. And I also wanted to cut my learning curve and, and really speed my way up to, to getting success with my social media marketing agency and really any business model uh, that I approach in life. So I've always been one of those people that just saw massive value in personal development and surround yourself with the right people. But I also believe that I was slow to challenge a lot of the stuff that I was hearing or a lot of the stuff that I was being taught. And the reason why I think that actually slowed me down is because I didn't tap into my creativity. What happens very often with self-education and all this stuff is that a lot of people just blindly follow the advice that they're being given, right? Obviously this is given that the person that is given the advice has actually done what they preach they've done, right? But assuming they have and they're a good quality mentor, you still have to challenge those ideas. You still have to tap into your own creativity. Because what a lot of people don't understand is that we all have certain gifts, we all have certain strengths. And what makes us truly unique, and what makes us stand out from other people is playing to our strengths, right? We all have certain strengths that we can play into. And so what happens very often in this online space, right? And what happens very often when learning from others is that a lot of people just blindly follow the advice, even copy the advice, right? And there's massive value in that, especially as you're starting out, because yes, you wanna execute everything they tell you because it is obvious that they know more than you do, right? And so yes, you absolutely need to follow their advice and implement it, but it gets to a point where you need to tap into your own creativity. You need to think for yourself. You need to challenge those ideas that you've heard or that they've taught you. And it's only once I tapped into my creativity and the way I wanted to do things that I started to see incredible results with my agency. Till that point, I had a few clients that built my agency to a six figure mark, but it's only when I decided I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna stand for something else. I'm gonna have a different value offering. I'm gonna do it my way that I started to see incredible results. And that is when I created a lot of the systems that I have now and that you guys have probably heard me talk about, right? I'm talking my automated sales system. I'm talking my reporting system. I'm talking about my communication system that optimizes for longevity. I'm talking about my process to results for e-commerce clients that I've spoken about in the channel before, right? And so I only built the system where I decided I'm gonna tap into my creativity, do things differently, challenge what I've been hearing and been taught, obviously implement what they've taught me, right? But apply my own spin on it, see how I can do things differently, see how I can create something huge and add value in a very different way and stand out from the crowd and from the market. And so that is the second thing that I would say and kind of my recommendation to you guys is absolutely surround yourself with the right people. Absolutely listen to people that are already two, three, four, ten 10 steps ahead of you, right? Implement the stuff that they teach because yes, assuming that is, is obviously the right person, they know more than you do and you should implement what they teach you. But 
it gets to a point where you need to apply your own creativity. You need to think for yourself. You need to take some time off to just think how you can actually take what you've been given and, and give your own spin and make it even better. So it's really more of a mindset, but I really urge you guys to implement it on your own agency. And the third and final thing is focus on talent and team. Look, it's no secret that when I was hiring for my agency at first, I really just rushed into that decision. I really just rushed into the people that I led into my team. And honestly, I really regret that because it got to a point where I was doing a lot of outreach. I was speaking to a lot of business owners, a lot of prospects. And although it took me around two to three months to sign first clients, which is quite a lot, that is why I told you guys to not get discouraged. I really should have put a lot more time and focus on getting the right team on board during that time as well, right? Because what happened is I signed my first client and at that point, yes, I had my ad specialist, but I hadn't really put the time, focus and energy that I currently put into my hiring process. And the hiring process that I currently have and that, for example, I share with my students, that turns out A players, almost guaranteed. And not only one A player, but you've got a whole list of backup options, right? And so what I wish I'd done earlier is not only build that hiring process, but also learn a lot and research what makes good team culture, what makes a good team member, which at this point I have, and I'm still learning a lot about it, but you need to understand that especially in the B2B service-based business, your product are your people. And if you don't have the right people in place, then it's going to be very hard to not only scale, but keep the clients that you currently have. And that is actually the easiest way to scale by keeping the clients that you currently have for the longest time possible. And if I could go back to those initial days, I would have uh, more focus on, on the longevity side of things as well as the hiring side of things. And honestly, on the same topic, when you have the right people in place, it's just so much more fun to build an agency because you really connect with these people. You have a laugh with them on the team calls. You learn from them even, right? They Sure, they learn a lot from you, but you also learn from them. When it comes to maybe media buying or copywriting, and whatever it is, right? You learn a lot from your team members. And if you manage to build a really cool team dynamic and chemistry, you're really gonna run circles past other agencies because most agencies don't really focus on the team building side of things and the client experience. They just focus on signing clients. And what happens is they have this very cold external relationship with their contractor or their team member, right? And so when you manage to have this team member feel part of the team, you give them a sense of ownership as well, then it's so much easier to build an agency because this person is gonna go the extra mile for you. They're gonna put in the work. And the work and the input is usually directly correlated to the output when it comes to media buying. And their input is gonna have a correlation to the output and the results that we get for our clients. And so it's very important that you find the right people, that you put enough time into finding the right people. And not only that, when you have the right people in the team, take care of them. Make sure that you, you build good chemistry, make sure that you build a good team dynamic, and make sure that you keep them on for a long time. And the final thing that I will say on that point is that, look, if it turns out to not be a good partnership, then obviously make sure that you also fire fast, right? Make sure that you also let them go. No hard feelings, but there's a lot of people out there who are great at what they do, uh, whether that's Facebook ads, Google ads, whatever you're offering, that are very happy to work within your team. And you should always have that option open. So guys, those are the three things I wish I knew when starting a social media marketing agency. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. YouTube just loves when that thing turns blue, so I'd really appreciate it. Also leave down below any comments, any questions, you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. The final thing is if you haven't checked out my free private mentorship community, The Client Closers, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency and level up in life. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always guys, I hope everything is going well in your agency journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace.